second idea is neighborhood tours. All right, neighborhood tours. The reason we're going to talk about this right now is this is really one of the secret weapons on how you can win against all everybody else is competing for real estate attention. Okay, and I'm talking about on Facebook, I'm talking about with YouTube. And obviously, if you're putting your videos on YouTube, Google owns YouTube. And so now those videos are going to start ranking at the top of YouTube. Okay, I'm doing a test right now with a syndicate member. And I'll be able to, if you're on the call, let's say next month, I'll be able to show you results for a specific neighborhood, brand new construction development, 72 lots. And we're going to take over Google for that neighborhood. So if anybody's searching, we're going to dominate the results using videos. We did a press release, you know, different stuff. I'm going to show you everything that we did. We'll talk about that on next month on the call. Or, you know, maybe we get into it beforehand inside the syndicates. But neighborhood, neighborhood level videos, this is the sweet spot for you. Okay, if you're a realtor, this is your sweet spot is making neighborhood level content. Because if somebody only knows the city, say for example, you know, we're thinking about Google right now. If somebody, if somebody only is searching for um, Denver homes for sale, okay, that's a way less qualified can, you know, buyer than somebody who's searching for Westwood Estates, Denver homes for sale, right? If they know neighborhoods specifically that they're interested in, that buyer is probably 50% closer to closing. You know, maybe somebody at a city level is only a year to six months out, maybe a neighborhood level, they're only three months out, right? So it's going to get you closer to the sale as well, going to this kind of content. So what you want to do is show people what would it be like to live in this neighborhood. Let me know right now in the chat, have you ever made like a neighborhood level video, right? A neighborhood level video, because as a realtor specifically, this is your, this is where you can win, okay? So you wanna show people what would it be like if they move into that neighborhood, okay? So here's some examples of stuff you know that people care about, right? They wanna know what schools are in the neighborhood. So you can show, hey, from this neighborhood, here's the drive, to that school over there, right here. It's a four minute drive to get you from here to the school or here's, you know, um, you just can show them what are the options, right? What are the local restaurants around the neighborhood? You can say, hey, you know, if you're gonna move into Westwood Estates, there's what's great about living in, the, in that neighborhood is that within a quarter mile, there's six restaurants that you can pick from in within a quarter mile. And so you could go show, you know, make a quick video. And obviously if you're doing that kind of video, you probably have to do some editing, right? Cause you wouldn't wanna just be like, driving around to every restaurant for 20 minutes. You want to have a shorter video than that, but you could show, Hey, here's the six restaurants that are within a quarter mile of Westwood Estates, Denver, Colorado. And now you got, you know, an, another video, right? Each one of these can be, we're talking about right now could be a separate video. So that what happens is you get three to five, six videos for every neighborhood in your market. And that's how you can start to really dominate and take over. Right. I mean, I think about the people, all that Mexican restaurant down there in Syntex, look around the room, right? You can easily beat all those people by shooting some videos. You just gotta be the one to do it. You know, you just gotta be the one to do it. Show them the churches that are around there. Can they walk to church? Do they have to drive their car? What are their options if they wanna be in a local church? You show them that. People care about the parks, right? What are the, what's the recreation opportunities in that neighborhood? You know, and you can show them what's, the, what's around there. What can they walk to specifically? Is there anything else that's close, that's cool, that people would care about? You know, is there, is there a lake nearby? Is there a jogging trails? I mean, like, think about what you care about, you know? I mean, what makes the neighborhood cool? If there's an HOA, are there, is there a clubhouse or is there a community pool or any of these sort of things that you could talk about as well? And what's great is, you know, if you want to get videos, you know, like in this case with neighborhood tours, this is more going to be a YouTube strategy than a Facebook strategy, but... It's, th this is how you can just take over, right? Because now all of a sudden you're putting up five, six, eight videos for one neighborhood, you know, to get it to rank for that neighborhood. And, um, and, then, and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you're going to start showing up. You're going to start showing up in the Google results. You're going to start showing up in the YouTube results, right? So we got, let's see, James, he's done some, that's cool. Robert, no. All right, Lewis, no. Not yet, sounds like a good idea. No neighborhood videos here in Waco. Yeah, right. So you can see there's a lot of opportunity by hearing, right? Hearing all these people that are saying no, right? That's a lot of no's. And, and so, so what is it going to take for you to actually start doing it, right? What is it going to take? 
okay, how do you actually do this? Here's the easiest way. There's a whole bunch of ways you can do it. The easiest way is get one of these mounts that goes on your window, position your cell phone in a way that you can't see the hood of your car, ideally. And like, you know, you got to have a clean windshield without a crack and all that so that the video looks good and just drive around. And then all you do is at the end, so like each one of these videos, you know, you could, you can be talking in the background if you want. And then if you want to edit it, you know, pull it into iMovie or whatever Google phones have and um, add a little background music. I mean, you could do some of that stuff, right? To kind of like, there's some really fast edits you can do in iMovie in terms of putting in a, you know, beginning and ending bumpers. You could um, throw on some background music, you know, some of that kind of stuff. So you can literally just get one of these mounts, throw it on your dashboard, put it up high, you know, on your window, and then, and then just shoot the video with your cell phone. If you want to get fancier, go grab a GoPro. You can get a GoPro mount that has a suction cup. You could mount it on the outside of your car, you know, up on the front of the hood. And literally these are fast. These can be fast videos, right? It's just, Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here. I'm going to show you, if you decide to move into Westwood Estates, I'm going to show you how easy it is to go from the neighborhood to the elementary school and from the neighborhood to the, to the middle school. And then just boom, hit the driving, throw some music on there. Right. And, and you just, you can show them that, that, you know, pretty easily. Also, if you shoot these kind of videos and you don't want to have to try to figure out any editing, these are great projects for somebody on Fiverr, you know, F I V E R R.com. And you can easily get a video editor on Fiverr if you, you know, if you want somebody to, to fancy them up. But if you made just one video a week, you will have 50 videos that are out there making you business over the next year, right? And in general, if you actually are going to go to a neighborhood and shoot a video, you might as well shoot three or four or five videos in that neighborhood. And, and that way you've got, you know, more than just one video trying to compete in the whole world of the internet. You can have like a little army of five videos trying to compete together. And that's, and that's way better, right? That's way better. So, you know, if you took that concept where instead of 50 videos, you did 50 neighborhoods, right? Man, you, you could have like 250 videos and we're not talking about a huge amount of time because you could go out there and shoot, you could easily shoot three to five videos in one hour one hour shooting. All right. Let's say you drive back to your office, edit them up. So let's say you've got like probably, let's say three or four hours a week into this pro process, but now you've got this army, an army of yourself out there selling people for you. You know, that's what's, that's what's so cool about, especially if you're, you know, putting the videos on Facebook and you're putting them on YouTube, this neighborhood content, you literally create an army of holograms, right? Of yourself that, at two in the morning, when somebody's sitting on their couch in their underwear and they're searching for a new neighborhood to live in, you're available to answer their questions, even when you're sleeping, right? And, and it's so cool that, that you can do that. Number two is the neighborhood tour. I think that's the secret weapon for you as a local realtor on how you can compete with Zillow and Realtor.com and the big aggregators that all want your money is neighborhood content. So when somebody, by the time they get down to knowing what neighborhoods they want to look for and they're searching for that kind of stuff, that's how they're going to get introduced to you and your business. And you're going to get to earn, you know, get to earn their business. Um,